This is a true story. I was attending this meeting organized by the CEO and it was a newly hired marketing executive. We had this advisor from Silicon Valley that was showing us a dashboard that was giving us connection between lines of codes, designs, all the comments, deploys, and was crossing them with the client's responses. It was fantastic because you could see how our actions were actually helping us to grow the business and make better decisions. So I was fully focused on, on this presentation and it was totally my laptop taking notes, making screenshots, creating connections with our work. And suddenly I get a message on Slack that pops up and says, are you even paying attention? I was like frozen. I could not believe my eyes. The CEO from the other side of the room was staring at me and was questioning my integrity via text message. So I was asking myself, what am I doing wrong? I'm just taking notes. So I fumbled a few reassuring words via Slack. And then I tried to refocus on the presentation that I could no longer comprehend. My mind, my body were pulled into a spiral of self-doubt and the presenter's words were just white noise. My palms were sweaty, my vision was blurred, my attention has been diverted, my focus has been lost under the pressure of the CEO doubting my professional commitment. And uh, honestly, to this day, I cannot recall the presentation's content due to my overwhelming disappointment with my supervisor. Was it helpful to call me out, even in private? I don't think so. As a manager and later as a director, I developed a practice of not publicly or privately calling out people for being distracted during meetings. If I notice someone who checks out during a meeting, I wait for the gathering to be over. I ask them if something was wrong, if something happened with the intent of helping them to be more present in the future. Attending meetings can be a significant time investment with a great opportunity cost. Imagine how many things people can do instead of staring at the same screen. To ensure that participants remain engaged and contribute actively, it's vital to ensure that they are interested, valued, and feel safe. So next time you encounter someone who appears to be zoning out during a meeting, it's best to assume positive intent and refrain from trying to bring them back to the conversation with force. Be kind, do not interrupt people's flow, even when you don't fully understand what they're doing.